Thank fuck. It's finally over. Oh my god. Um, hey guys, what's up? It's Big Jack Films here, and welcome to another opening night. And we are on the final chapter of this epic saga. Patreon requested by my sister, uh, who has requested me to review all the Twilight movies. And we are now on the final chapter. And it is 5.51 in the morning. Because I've been up all night working on projects, and I binged and watched it as background noise, essentially. So, um, we are on Twilight Breaking Dawn Part 2, and it's so relieving for this to be over. Um, the whole saga in general, I found, was just kind of so bad it's good. Like, so bad it's hilarious. It's like the, um, the room of horror movies, of tween movies, of vampire movies. It's all that rolled into one. And in this one, where we last left off, uh, Bella gave birth to Renesmee, and now she's a vampire. And because of that, she has to learn... The first bit of this movie is about her learning how to handle her powers, um, her new life with Edward, her new life with the daughter, um, Jacob imprinting on their daughter, which is really fucked up. And they do address it, not in the best, in my opinion. It's kind of fucked. Um, and, you know, everything seems to be going okay. But then the Volturi show up and think she's a immortal child, which is terrible. So now it's basically... It's Return of the King. It's Deathly Hallows. It's the big epic battle at the end, which... For a series like this is kind of stupid. It's kind of pointless why they would do this. Um... I don't know if that was in the book, per se, but it makes me think that this was kind of a studio decision to add that in because it just doesn't feel in line with the rest of the franchise. I mean, granted, Eclipse had action scenes and stuff, but to end it like this, where it's very, very Return of the King-esque, it's just kind of... It felt really forced, um, but there were some aspects I liked. I did find the whole battle scene at the end to be completely insane and really fun to watch. Not gonna lie. Uh, Carter Burwell does return, and the score there is actually pretty good. But aside from that, it's like, I did like actually all the individual vampires as part of the Cullen family. Like, I love the two Russian ones. I love what I call the, the Nicolas Cage vampire. Um, because this guy has, like, been through all the wars, and there's some great, I'll admit, there's some good scenes in this movie. There's bits where there's a whole campfire scene before the battle where they talk about how they've all lived through all the world's wars, and, you know, discussing the stories, and it's like being with a bunch of warriors who have all been in these big battles, and they're telling you the tales and everything, so that scene's great. Um, the movie is very snowy. I don't know why. <laughs> um, it's kind of weird in that sense, but... This is probably the one installment where I was looking forward to watching it, but at the same time, it felt like it really dragged. Like, I think this and New Moon, I'll say, are the weaker entries in the series, because it just feels like, I really felt like after Renesmee was born and Bella's a vampire, if you had crammed that all, like, that film and then Bella trained to be a vampire in her new life, I think it would have been okay. But the fact they had to stretch this into two parts didn't feel like it kind of dragged a little. And in that sense, I think after the birth of the child, it was just kind of a more, here's some extra stuff. And it just felt kind of like extra. It didn't feel really earned. Like I felt the happy ending already happened. But at the same time, it just felt like I was, half the time I was looking at my watch, I was actually really bored with this one. Because it's very conflicting. And it's very, it's pretty much, here's an extra thing. We made some extra money. It just felt very um, bland, this one. So, despite me liking it, um, like enjoying some moments in it, I do feel this is one of the weaker ones. I'm going to give this one probably about a 6 out of 10. I mean, again, there's good stuff in it, but it's the one that I would say you don't really need to watch it. It doesn't really fulfill anything with the story. It's just extra shit, essentially. And 
overall watching the saga, I felt, um, I'm glad I did watch it and finally got a grasp of why it was so popular. And for what it is, it's okay. You can take it for what it is. I mean, if you enjoy this kind of stuff, then it's right up your alley. If you enjoy a So Bad It's Good series of movies, it's right up your alley. There's some cheesy effects. I've seen worse effects. I've seen worse movies than these. But they're not the worst films. Like, they're they're compl complimentarily made bad movies. Like, they're well-made bad movies. So, like, where the quality's good, the quality's decent, the writing's a little lacking, but you can have fun with it. And they make for a good time with friends, either drunk, high, and just want to watch some really dumb shit. And that's, and, you know, that's how I see it. It's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. It's not the death of cinema. It was just a fun series of movies that were just kind of off their time ten years ago. And it's just f f cool to kind of finally watch them. So, I actually really had, had, a good t had a good time with this whole experience. Would I watch these again? Probably not. But I do want to thank my sister uh, for donating $5 a month to help keep the channel going and, you know, requesting these. And, of course, guys, if you have um, any movies you want us to talk about on opening night um, as a request, uh, you can so on our Patreon, just a dollar more, we're going to early access to all of our content as well as other special features. But if you donate $5 a month, you get a, a request of your choosing once a month for us to review uh, as an opening night movie. And next week... Um, we might be doing something a little different. We're debating if we want to do something Halloween related or if we want to do something uh, that's been requested. And I think I might do something Halloween related because why not? It's Halloween. It's the month of monsters and scares. And let's end this month on a high note and maybe watch a good horror movie or something. So let's see what I can do. So um, let me know what your thoughts are on Breaking Dawn Part 2 and the Twilight Saga as a whole. I'm fucking tired. Um, let me know of that in the comment section below. So until the next video, like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys later. This is Big Jack Film signing off saying I'm going to edit this in the morning because it's six o'clock. I'm fucking tired. And thank fuck this is over. And I can finally nail this in the literal coffin with the vampire and say good night to Twilight. See ya.